Given that sine of t equals negative 1 over 4 and cosine of t is positive, is positive, find exact value of the five remaining trig functions. Okay, so to do this, we need to make a triangle. And to make a triangle, we need to know which quadrant that the triangle will be in so we can know the correct value of either 1 or 4 would be negative. So we know that the cosine is positive, and according to our ACTS rule, we know that the cosine is positive in this quadrant, the fourth quadrant. So we need to f um, put a triangle in this quadrant, which I did right here, and then we need to put the f 1 and the 4 in properly. So since the sine means opposite over hypotenuse, that would mean that the opposite would be negative 1, and then the hypotenuse would be 4, because the hypotenuse is always positive. So now we need to find x. And to find x, we um, would do the Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem would state that x squared plus negative 1 squared equals 4 squared. So x squared plus 1 equals 16 x squared equals 15, so x equals the square root of 15. So now we can make this triangle um, with the t being the theta and then the square root 15 going and plugging in where x was and then the negative 1 and then the 4. And now we just need to find our five remaining trig functions, which is very easy when we already have a triangle like this. So we already know what sine is. It's negative 1 over 4. So that means the cosecant of t would equal negative 4 over 1 equaling negative 4 because the cosecant is just the reciprocal of whatever the sine is. So now we can find the cosine. And the cosine of t would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the adjacent angle to t would be square root of 15. And the hypotenuse would be 4. So that's all simplified since the radical is on the top. And the secant of t would be the reciprocal of the cosine. And the reciprocal would be 4 over square root 15. But that's not in its simplest form because there's a, um, a square root on the bottom and that can't happen. So you have to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 15 to cancel out the square root. So it's going to be 4 square root 15 over 15. Now we need to find the tangent. And to find the tangent, we need to understand that the tangent is the opposite over adjacent. The opposite sign is the square root 15 and the um, no, the opposite side is the negative 1, and the adjacent side is the square root 15. So, for opposite over adjacent, we would do negative 1 over square root 15. And again, we cannot have a radical on the bottom, so we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root 15 to get negative square root 15 over 15, equaling the tangent of t. Now we need to find the cosine or the cotangent of t, which is very easy since we already know the tangent. You just flip it. So you can flip it from the beginning, the negative 1 over square root 15. So it's going to be 15 over, or square root 15 over negative 1 equals the negative square root 15. And so that's how you find the five remaining trig functions.